The second most common question today, according to me, that is there in the minds of non-Muslims is that Muslims are fundamentalist. And many a time we Muslims feel ashamed and we don't know how to reply. What is the meaning of the word fundamentalist? Fundamentalist by definition means a person who follows the fundamentals of one particular subject. For example, if a mathematician wants to be a good mathematician, he should know, follow and practice the fundamentals of maths. Unless he is a fundamentalist in the field of maths, he cannot be a good mathematician. For a person who wants to be a good scientist, he should know, follow and practice the fundamentals of science. Unless he is a fundamentalist in the field of science, he cannot be a good scientist. You cannot paint all fundamentalists with the same brush, that all are good or all are bad. Depending in which field the person is a fundamentalist, you have to label him accordingly. If we have a fundamentalist robber in the society, whose profession is to rob, he is a bane for the society. On the other hand, if we have a fundamentalist doctor, whose profession is to save thousands of human lives, he is good for the society. So depending in which field the person is a fundamentalist, you have to label him accordingly. As far as I am concerned, I am a fundamentalist Muslim and I am proud to be a fundamentalist Muslim. Because I know, follow and I strive to practice the fundamentals of Islam. And I know that there is not a single fundamental of Islam which is against humanity as a whole. There may be a few fundamentals which the non-Muslims may think it is against humanity, but the moment you reply to them or tell them the logical reason why these things are in Islam, there is not a single human being who can point out a single fundamental of Islam which is against humanity as a whole. When we go back in history, we come to know that according to the Webster Dictionary, Fundamentalism was first time used to describe a group of American Christians in the early part of the 20th century. These American Christians, they protested against the church and they said, previously the church believed that the complete message of the Bible was from God. These protestant Christians, they protested against the church and said, not only is the message of the Bible from God, every word, every letter of the Bible is from God. If someone can prove that every letter, every word of the Bible is from Almighty God, then this movement is a good movement. On the other hand, if someone can prove that every word, every letter of the Bible is not from Almighty God, then this movement is not a good movement. When we read the Oxford Dictionary, the Oxford Dictionary says that fundamentalist is a person who strictly adheres to the ancient or fundamental doctrines of any religion. But when we read the revised edition of Oxford Dictionary, there is a slight change. It says that fundamentalist is a person who strictly adheres to the ancient scriptures or fundamentals of any religion, especially Islam. Especially Islam has been added in the revised edition of Oxford Dictionary. The moment you hear the word fundamentalist, immediately you start thinking of a Muslim. The Muslims, they're fundamentalists, they're extremists. And we Muslims, we are becoming apologetic. No, 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 I'm not a fundamentalist. No, no, I'm not an extremist. I say, I am an extremist. I'm extremely honest, I'm extremely just, I'm extremely kind, I'm extremely merciful, I'm extremely loving. Can anyone tell me why being extremely just, extremely honest, extremely loving, extremely merciful, extremely kind is bad? What's wrong in being an extremist? The Quran says you have to be extremely honest. You can't be partly honest when benefits you, you're honest, when doesn't benefit you, you're dishonest. The Quran says you have to be extremely honest, extremely just. So if you are a practicing Muslim, you have to be extremely kind, extremely honest, extremely just. We have to be extremist in the correct direction. We should not be extremist in the wrong direction. But a Muslim should be extremist in following the Quran. 
Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number two hundred eight. Allah says, "Utkhlu fi silmi kaffa." Enter into Islam wholeheartedly. You can't say partly. So why are the Muslims becoming apologetic? The media is attacking Islam, and unfortunately, we Muslims we have the best deen. But why are we afraid? Why are we apologetic? It's time that we turn the tables over.